It's got a longer reach. He's heavier. He's got everything over Cornell. But can that come as, a, as an advantage for him? I mean, listen, right? The stats are not that differential. I think the age is going to be a big one because Cornell's experience is going to speak numbers, right? But then, hey, Kingsley's experience as well, man. Kingsley has a lot of striking background. And Unknown to so many in this part. He's a Kingsley. And Kingsley Ajua, a brilliant, brilliant striker, brilliant, brilliant wrestler. Now, it's still three rounds of action in this face-off. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, the fierce and fighting fit, Cornell, the Marine Boxer Thompson! Taking on the Marine Man, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome On two. Kingsley is a Ajua! All right, it's about seven in the face-off fight night to Richard Yu, uh, live on the World of Champions Super Sports. <laughs> and um, Marine Thompson with his, with his symbolic um, thumbs down. You know, uh, we, we know him as a fantastic wrestler, but he said we should watch out for his striking today. Uh, is that what we're going to see, Steve? Uh, it looks like it. He said he's going to bring out 10% striking against Kingsley. He said, last time I gave you 3% against Onem, tonight see 10%, and it's going to be enough to take Kingsley down. So let's see what's up. Mm. And he's trying to use the low kicks, but then he's not. I, 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 I'm saying, I'm looking at Cornell throwing jabs. That's unusual. That's a pretty inside low kick from Kingsley. Kingsley has fast kicks, man. Mm, okay, you see that? Every time Cornell's throwing a jab, Kingsley's returning with that left hook. Every time. He's not tagging him, but you see the plan's counter, right? He yeah. has a plan for that. Good kick, and good he, low kick. I think he's looking for that left hook as a counter. Now, so far, so good. Right, yeah, both so guys so, so sharing so the middle of the octagon, exchanging. Nobody's backing down for jabs, the other. inside low kicks, soft fighting, feeling each other out. Right. Nice jab. I'm, I'm sure at some point we're gonna see the uh, we're, we're gonna see Cornell the wrestler, but you know for now he's trying to hide behind his jabs, throw the low kicks every now and then. Um, yeah, that's, a, that's a right. That's a good right low kick from uh, Cornell Thompson. Oh, 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 nice jab low kick combination. Tagged him nicely with that one. See, those don't hurt, but they add up again. See that inside leg kick? It's not really a painful strike. When you throw strike. volumes of those, eventually, eventually, you know, will we'll we'll count for something. It will hurt you at some point. No doubt. And as you saw a few fights ago, it's extremely close to being a low blow. So it makes you think a lot. Yeah. Right? It makes you yeah, think a lot. It makes you, it makes you guess. Ooh, Boom. Good, good Jab, too. high kick, Cornell. Beautiful. Yeah, Cornell. Beautiful. Beautiful. Boom. Another left kick. That's the same left kick he was bringing up against Onim last against fight. Onim. So yep. The first round. Then he stopped doing it because Onim tried to wrestle him down. But you can see it again. But he, he's been working. You know, he, when it comes to wrestling, he's, he's, he's about one of the best around. So he's not afraid of, you know, getting a grappling match, yeah, getting into a wrestling uh, fight with anybody. But the, the key is not uh, the, the, the counter punch. Oh, that, ooh, nice body look kick, at Nice right cross. Look, but look at the counter. Look at the response from Osuji. Uh, uh, that, that, I'm sorry. From, that's one of the from. Uh, the AK. That's one of the things Cornell must not allow. You talked about how he keeps throwing the counter, you know, hook, because at some point he's going to connect. Oh yeah. At some point he's going to connect. And right there he had he had two counters. He had a left kick and a right cross. It was actually really pretty. And, and Cornell has such a heavy chin, man. Oh, he he got not phased whatsoever by that, like as if nobody touched him. Boom. Another kick. But see, despite all the attack that AK is throwing his way, Cornell is the guy on the front. Yeah, he's on. Cornell is the guy with the pressure. And now, that's now your the guy. Trademark. The trademark. The knees, though. The knees him. could be so bad. Boom. Ooh. Here we go. That's one. Can it escape that? For yeah. now. For now. Jab, jab. I thought we were about to see uh, the trademark Cornell wrestling. But that, that didn't happen at that point because uh, Kenneth was able, you know, to, to, to wriggle his way out of um, to, of Cornell's grip. Yeah, that was really nice defense by AK with the underhook. Now, oh, he tagged him with that left kick. Yo, Cornell. Cornell oh, my, surprising. my, my. That was a good high kick. That was a good high Whoa. kick. Oh. Nice, nice counter. Beautiful counter. See, so he's starting to read that one. 
I think I think after getting tagged with it, now he's gonna pay attention to it a little bit more. Yeah, he, he will. Right, and the left kick is gonna be a little bit more visible to him. But Cornell is impressive. I like his striking approach this round. He's showing us so much development in his game. In his, in his, yeah. um, and, and, and if you want, if you want to go very far, you've got to know how to mix and match. It can't, it can't be a one-trick pony. Both. Because at some point, everybody will know your trick and find a way to beat you to your trick. But then, when you're you're able to add different, you know, elements to your fight, to your to style, to your to your technique. And Ooh, Ooh, so focused, he missed that. He almost threw himself to the ground. Wow, yo. That, that tells you the power behind that punch. Exactly. He was, he was trying to get him. You know, the thing about Cornell, right, what's allowing him to, to be more free with his kicks, yeah, is the fact that he's so, he's so comfortable on the ground that Very he doesn't care if you catch his leg and you throw him back. If you catch his leg and take him to the ground, that's where he wants to be. You're taking him to, to, his, so his, territory. to his territory. And so he's like, okay, I'm going to let loose. I can throw the kicks and not be worried about it too I'm much. Sure, I'm sure that one Kenneth not to get into any wrestling match with him. Because look at every time um, he, he holds on to Kenneth. Kenneth, instead of holding back, he looks for ways to run out of it. But he looks for ways to run out of it. That left kick is tagging. That left kick from Cornell is, is such a weapon. Such, such, such a weapon. And it adds to his takedowns a lot, right? Because if you can keep landing that, and, and uh, AK gets wary of the oh, left head kick, then this he, is exactly what's going to happen. That's what he wants to do. That's what he wants to do. But then Kenneth isn't, isn't giving him room to do that. Yes, beautiful work. Listen, you, you, you uh, notice um, AK's hands. His hands are really busy, and he's making sure to keep um, Cornell's biceps engaged, not allow Cornell to get a proper grip or, around his body or his legs whatsoever in order to bring him to the ground. Very impressive, very very good first round, uh, you know, for both yes. fighters. Uh, both fighters, fighters have shown proper planning, you know, and that's what we love to see. One Q commentary. And we're, right, and we're back is round two in this uh, mm -hmm. bout. Uh, that's yeah, Cornell continue. up against Kingsley. His face of fight night two, Richie New on the World of Champions Super Sports. Yes. And the next uh, one is highlight. Eh? Now both of them, both of them have been very cautious in the first round. But second round, now somebody needs yeah, to go right. for the kill. Somebody needs to, you know, go in the ascendancy. And now Cornell again, uh, back on his front foot, just as the, the last round showed us. He's trying to dictate the pace. He's trying to dictate where the fight takes place, right? But he needs to do some damage. He needs no to doubt. do some damage. No doubt, but but I mean, at this point, he's still the guy winning, and he's landed more shots. He's putting Ooh. the pressure. That left kick is dangerous. His takedowns will add up as soon That's as things he gets wants. tired. That is what he wants. This is what he wants. Uh, this is what he wants. Interesting position, but Cornell this has is what top. He, wants. he gets it. Like you said, that's what he wanted. That's now he, he gets wants. the mount. That's and what he like, wants. Look at, at this point. It's not, a, it's not a nice place to be for Kingsley. Gonna, no, it's not. Anybody who knows King, King, Kingsley, it's time to shout it at him. You don't want to be here. And he oh. gave up his, he's about to give up his back. He needs to be careful with that turn, right? You're scrambling trying to turn out. And, and you, you end up giving your back or your upper chest. And you don't want to be there Beautiful. with Cornell. Ooh. Wow, wow, wow. Beautiful okay. transition. Yeah. I spoke too early. Beautiful, beautiful Ooh. transition. He sweeps him yeah. and gets the top. And I'm now AK shock. has dominant position. I'm in shock. <laughs> Yo, Joseph, that's your man. Getting, that's your shock. man on the bottom like that. That's your man who's on the bottom like that. All right, two again. All right, Cornell is doing a great job of keeping his guard uh, on Kingsley. He has a full oh, okay. guard. Kenneth, Kenneth's got to make his count. He's not allowing him to get a, to, 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 to push down push on down him yeah. or to put some real damage on. Now, what Kingsley needs to do is he needs to try working on, on positioning and uh, from the top. Ah, he is out. Oh, no. And that's Cornell for you. That's Cornell for you. Reverses the wrestling, gets his back. He got his back a little bit too easy. Kingsley can turn yeah, back and face up and just try that to stand was, up. That, that was actually a little too easy. He, he shouldn't hang easy. around like that. You don't want to let Cornell do that to you, man. It's, it's his bread and butter. He, he's happy oh, with... Oh, no! Aye, 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 aye. Tight, no! Tight now, he doesn't have his neck yet. He didn't. He didn't have his neck. He didn't. Because he had his mouth. It was under his mouth. It was right on his mouth. Nice that defense by Kingsley. But he's back again where he doesn't want to be. That was smart from Kingsley. Back right where he doesn't want to be at Cornell with the full mount, beautiful transition there. Basically, he does it really easily, yeah. Because because he does this for fun. He wrestles for fun. He does and, it. And, and really that's, really the irony. that's the irony in his name. Is the Marine. Now watch out. But look at watch out. There's a tight choke, but Cornell oh, is a guy problem. in charge. That's a problem for Cornell. It's not tight that's enough. A, it's not tight enough. It's not tight enough. Right? See, he doesn't have his neck. He has his jaw. The choke is on Cornell's jaw, not on his oh, neck. You remove it. There we you go. Pull it. There we you pull go. It out. It's not tight enough. This is, this is beautiful to watch. This is absolutely beautiful to watch. 
Cornell looks like he's why having fun it, right why now. Does what look, is why does it look like they're having a conversation? Yeah, it looks like he's having some fun right now. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably letting him know, like, listen, this is what I'm going to do to you. We're here to watch and you fight. And you can't do nothing about it. I'm about to get you. <laughs> look at that. Right. So, Cornell is working we're, we're for, here to see a for a, uh, an arm triangle, right? If he can jump his whole body to the right of Kingsley's body while maintaining his, his left hand, uh, but, but, it's done but, now. But, that position is done now. But, but, mm -hmm. but Kingsley has been, he's done this so well, he's been good. And he's back to his back, and now the choke is tight. Now the choke is really, really tight. This one is, this, this is a tight choke. That's a guillotine right there. That's trouble, man. AK is in trouble. AK is in serious, serious, serious trouble. You don't want to wrestle with him. Come on. The hand is tight. The, the squeeze is so tight. And that body triangle that he's got on, on, the, on AK's that, that, body is not allowing him to turn. Him move move the lower body and it stops your breathing. Uh, it makes it more difficult to fight that choke. Kingsley has so much heart, though. I'm surprised he's still able to breathe and so, muster the so strength. So look at what he's done. He's not allowing the second arm applied pressure. So right, that's but you see, still... you see that pressure on the finger of Cornell, oh. that's illegal. That's illegal right there. He's not allowed to, to manipulate that. any small joints. Oh, and I Cornell know. again. And that's dangerous. You, both guys are scrambling oh. hard. Cornell is really, these, really, these really are looking for that choke. He does not he's want to let go. He wants his position. He wants to stay there. He's got 20 seconds to sink it. Okay. Now, is that going to be enough? Kingsley's, a, Kingsley's about to go to sleep. He looks like he's about to go to sleep. Super tight, super, super, super tight. Oh my God, his, his face is red. He doesn't want to tap out. His face is red, he's got so much heart. He's still fighting. He's gonna get saved by the bell. Joseph, Joseph, Joseph. What heart, what heart, what heart for Kings Lee. What heart for Kings Lee. How do you survive that? How do you survive that? Okay. Oh my! That must be demoralizing for Cornell. To be so dominant and not be able to finish is not easy. Because wow! What, because what that, what that does is you begin to doubt. Yeah, because you think you're doing everything right, and then it's not working. Just look at this. I mean, at that point, if you're Cornell. So first round was relying on his punches and kicks. Second round, let's go to the floor. Here let's you see beautiful mark. defense by Kingsley in the first round, right? And that's that left kick we're talking about. He landed that flush. Beautiful timing by Cornell. And that was that punch he was trying to throw. I would have liked to see Kingsley counter on that, on that miss a little bit more. Here you see the fight go to the ground. And that was the story of the second now round. the story of the second round. We're seeing the master doing what he knows how to do, wrestle, you know, dominate people on the floor. And he's doing it and he's done it so well, but he needs to do a bit more. Third round. Thank you, Ibris. Thank you. You know, Kenneth, Kenneth needs to come with a big stuff. He needs to come with a big one. Because right now, the only way he can get anything out of this fight is if it, it, it does something that pulls a trick out of the heart, something that is big enough to hurt Cornell. Yes, sir, but I would expect him to be exhausted, honestly, just from all these grappling exchanges, because he's had to, he's had to, to fight off of his back for such a long time in that second round that it takes a toll on you, man. Uh, the lactic acid builds up in your legs, and, and you start to lose some power in your shots. And that, I think, is, is enough for Cornell to just start walking through these. Mm. So Cornell again, apparently looking to wrestle him to the floor again. He's looking for a takedown again. So both fighters not even throwing punches or elbows or anything. And I, I can understand Kenneth not throwing elbows or anything at this point because it, what happened in the second round must have taken a lot out of him. Nice takedown, nice trip. Kingsley does a great job of getting back up and Cornell does a great job of bringing him right back down. You're not getting back up, my friend. Cornell is very experienced at wrestling. He's so experienced. And it's a delight to watch him every time he takes anybody to the floor. All his takedowns are beautiful. Now, now Kingsley has a triangle around Cornell's left leg, right? Mm. He's starting to learn from these two rounds, and he doesn't want to let Cornell get that, get that. full mount full anymore. Mount. Yeah. And so he's defending that now. I'm, I'm curious to see how long he's going to stay able to to clearly think about the bottom defense while Cornell is putting on all this damage because at some point you get punched in the face so many times uh, oh, your focus becomes oh. the face, you know? And Cornell unleashes the elbow. Nice work from Cornell to, to keep Kingsley's arm 
uh, in a position where he can't really defend himself and can't really bother him from the top. Expect him to land maybe another elbow from the right. Can then get in help from the cage, pushing himself away from because where he is right now, if Cornell finds a way to pick his neck, it's, it's over. But then he's pushing himself away, uh, using the using the using the full weight of the of the of the of the cage. Now, what, what that left leg is helping him do is helping him keep Cornell from being able to bring his own leg above yeah, yeah, above it and actually get a better position, right? And, uh, and what he wants to do is try to push off his his right and bring the left from under Cornell's and try to push off both. Maybe try and get lucky. Maybe get lucky and, and be able to stand from down there we get back on your feet because you don't want to be down here with Cornell man it's just not fun he's so much more experienced from the top and on, in the wrestling department right now he's just gonna drown you so right now I think Kenneth is just happy holding on happy holding on not allowing Cornell do any more damage any major damage because uh, I, I still think um, how much time they had to rest in between rounds is not enough for him to recover quickly from what happened to him in the second second round. So he's just happy right now, holding on to Cornell and making sure Cornell doesn't get that full mount and assume a position of total advantage. No doubt, but at the same time, this is not where you want to be trying to catch your breath. You don't want to be under a guy on your back like Cornell, um, you know, and him having a side mount, trying to work on a full mount, and you being there trying to catch your breath. This is not the most intelligent a uh, place to, to recover stamina, to be honest, right? Mm. But and again, what can you do? Cornell's exactly. a lot more what experienced. What can you do? It's working for him. Kingsley's trying to work on just surviving this, trying to change the position, maybe get on his feet if possible, right? I'd like to see a little bit more aggressiveness from Cornell from the top. He's had that position for a long time. He's just but, not but, doing uh, damage. And I'd like to see give, a little bit more power. Some, you've got to give some credit to, to how Kenneth uh, you know, has defended uh, so far on the floor. You know, not allowing, being able to, even at this stage after all he's gone through, not allowing Cornell that, to, uh, that, that full mount is something worthy of you know, commendation. But then it's still not good for him. It's still not good for him because no matter how much work he's doing, Cornell still has a slight advantage right now. Cornell has a massive advantage right now, actually. He, he, he's basically been doing whatever he wants in this fight to AK. You know, the first round was a little bit of striking exchanges. And then as soon as he started wrestling, we've been in this exact same position for a few rounds now. Right? Everybody's screaming out Marine. Everybody's hyping Cornell. I'd like to see a little bit more he's, aggressiveness, he's, he's though. De he's definitely the favorite for this, for this, for the fight. And here we go. That's the ref saying the same thing. He'd like to We're see tired. a little bit more Let's action. Fight. He wants to see a little bit we're more we're aggressiveness we're from both guys. Up, we didn't come here for some hog fest. And Let's he stands fight. them up. Here we go. Let's go, guys. Boom. Kick by Kingsley. And then Cornell right All back in the clinch. All he wants to do. Right back against the cage. Right where he wants him. Drags him to the ground wants effortlessly. To do. Effortlessly. Right where the fight was. And we're back to square one. Back, back to square back, one, one back to the bromance. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's 10 seconds to the round. Yeah. At this point, I don't see Kingsley being able to get out of this nah. or being able to make any of this done, right? Marine boxer, another dominant performance. As as we're used to it's right now. Well, you're exactly. We're, exactly. we're used to this right now. It's done. Cornell is, every time he shows up, expect this. This is what he does all the time. This is what he does all the time. After three rounds of action, we, know, we, know, we go again to the scorecards. Judge one scores it 29 to 28. Judge two scores it 30 to 27. Judge three scores it. 29 to 28. And the winner, by unanimous decision, the Marine Boxer, Cornell Dawson! Very, very straightforward results here. Yeah? Very, very straightforward. You know? Oh, was Cornell taunting his man there? Yes, he was still talking smack. He was still getting at him. <laughs> and Cornell Thompson, ladies and gentlemen, with another dominant performance as we have come used to by, by now. By now.